An equal right for everyone. Coming up, the local hospital using new technology to make certain health services available to everyone. Plus, Mars, right? It's a right we should all enjoy equally. But the National Association of the Deaf says health care is routinely inaccessible to deaf people due to communications and linguistic barriers. But one area hospital is using the latest technology to make health services and information accessible to everyone. When she suffered a concussion a while back, Michelle McAuliffe went to the hospital for emergency treatment. Like most who've ever been to an ER, she had to wait. But her visit was further delayed because she is deaf and needed someone who could sign her language. Well, as a deaf person, I need to be able to communicate with a doctor and the nurse or whoever works in the hospital. And that communication is a little bit of a challenge. The Americans with Disabilities Act requires all medical facilities and health care providers to ensure effective communication with people who are deaf. A live interpreter is always preferred, but sometimes that's just not a 24-7 option. As a temporary backup, MedStar Washington Hospital Center has invested in VRI, or Video Remote Interpreting. VRI, or a live interpreter, is what allows patient to chat with the doctor or a family member to chat with the doctor. Taking the lead further in interpreting services, the hospital also offers VRS, video relay service. It allows a deaf person to make a public phone call just like any other patient or visitor. But this basically allows our patients, their loved ones, and all of the guests at the hospital to do is make phone calls, whether it be for their prescriptions, to make doctor's appointments, to call home, call for a cab. I can take care of myself and I can empower myself and it's just great to have that independence. MedStar Washington Hospital Center serves the highest volume of deaf patients with Gallaudet University uh, nearby. This is the highest number of deaf patients in the U.S. along with the number of government workers in the area who are deaf and need health care services.